Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make mocha cupcakes. These are coffee cupcakes with a mocha Swiss meringue buttercream frosting and salted caramel. Thanks so much for requesting this recipe. We hope you like this video. This recipe makes 12 cupcakes and you can double it or half it as needed. To start, we're going to make the coffee cupcakes. Let eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, two large eggs, and one fourth cup of sour cream come to room temperature. Place an oven rack in the middle position and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a muffin pan and prep it with cupcake liners. We're using all 12 molds for this recipe. Take a medium-sized mixing bowl, add in one and a half cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of espresso powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon of table salt. Whisk these dry ingredients together till they're well combined. In the bowl of your stand mixer, add in the eight tablespoons of room temperature unsalted butter and beat on medium high speed for one minute till the butter is smooth and creamy. Stop the mixer and add in three fourth cup of granulated sugar, then continue beating on medium high for two minutes until the sugar and butter mixture looks fluffy. While continuing to beat on medium high speed, add in the two room temperature eggs, one egg at a time, waiting for the previous egg to be fully combined before adding the next one. When the eggs are combined, add in the one fourth cup of room temperature sour cream and half a cup of strong hot brewed coffee just until combined. Turn on to medium-low speed and slowly add in the dry ingredients mixture and continue beating just until combined. Stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl as needed to make sure everything is combined. Then mix again on medium speed for another 30 seconds to ensure all the dry ingredients are mixed in and the batter is uniform. Scoop the resulting mocha batter into the cupcake liners making sure to only fill them two-third of the way up. The batter will rise quite a bit and going above two-third of the way will result in the batter overflowing. Bake these cupcakes on the middle rack in your preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 18 minutes. Or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Let the cupcakes cool in the molds completely to room temperature before frosting them. While we're waiting for our cupcakes to cool, we're going to work on our mocha Swiss meringue buttercream frosting. Take one cup, which is two sticks of unsalted butter, and cut it into one inch cubes. Let these come to room temperature. Take the clean bowl of your stand mixer, add in three egg whites, three fourth cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk these together until they are combined. Set up a double boiler over medium low heat Place the stand mixer bowl over it and heat the egg white sugar mixture over it but not touching the gently simmering water while continuing to whisk till the sugar is dissolved. It's done when it feels sticky to the touch and you can hardly feel the grains of sugar anymore. If you have a thermometer, it needs to reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit. When it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, take the bowl off the double boiler. Attach the bowl to your stand mixer and with a paddle attachment, beat this mixture on medium high speed until it reaches room temperature. You'll notice that it will also start to look glossy as stiff peaks start to form. By the time it reaches room temperature, it should look something like this. When it's back to room temperature, turn back on to medium speed and slowly add the one cup pre-cut room temperature unsalted butter one cube at a time. The mixture might start looking curdled, but do not worry, and continue mixing until it looks smooth. When the butter is fully mixed in, add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of espresso powder. Mix this in until it's smooth. Scrape down the bowl for any unmixed buttercream at the bottom and sides. Then mix on medium speed for a final minute to make sure the frosting is uniform. Leave this at room temperature till you're ready to use it. The final component to our mocha cupcakes is the salted caramel drizzle. Take a small saucepan over medium-high heat, 
Add in half a cup of granulated sugar and four teaspoons of water. Do not stir the sugar and water, but just gently swirl the pan to make sure the sugar is leveled and getting heated as evenly as possible. Bring this sugar water mixture to a boil while carefully watching out for it to turn into a copper light amber color. Be careful not to let it get too dark, otherwise your caramel will have a slightly bitter burnt flavor. As soon as you see a light amber color, turn off the heat. It will continue to darken with the residual heat. Then, while vigorously whisking, very slowly add in one third cup of room temperature heavy cream and vigorously whisk it in. Be careful of the hot steam from the initial addition of heavy cream. Adding the heavy cream very slowly will prevent the caramel from seizing up. But if the sugar does seize up into a ball, don't worry. Just keep whisking and it will melt again. Add in 2 tablespoons of unsalted butter and 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. Turn the heat back onto medium low and mix in the butter and continue to whisk for another 3 minutes. Then turn off the heat and let this cool to between lukewarm to room temperature about 30 to 40 minutes. Or just very slightly warm. Depending on how cool the ambient temperature is, the caramel might not be runny enough if it sits at room temperature for a very long time. But you can always gently warm up the caramel like we did in our caramel coffee crunch cake video. Exactly. Ooh, I wish we had some of that caramel coffee crunch cake right now. <laughs> anyway, when your caramel has cooled but is still a nice drizzly consistency, we're ready to assemble the cupcakes. Transfer the lukewarm caramel into a Ziploc bag. Seal the bag. Cut a small hole in one of the corners. Pipe caramel onto the cupcakes so that the top surface is covered in caramel. I'm creating a circular pattern to make sure the entire surface is covered. Do this for all 12 cupcakes. Set the leftover caramel aside at room temperature. Attach a large open star tip to your piping bag. I'm using a number 4B tip today. And transfer the mocha Swiss meringue buttercream into the piping bag. Frost the top of each cupcake with whatever pattern you like. I like to create a spiral pattern while squeezing the bag. Then I stop squeezing and lift the tip. Do this with all 12 cupcakes. When all the cupcakes are frosted, I like to finish it off by drizzling the leftover caramel over the mocha frosting in a zigzag pattern using the same Ziploc bag containing caramel. Do this for all 12 cupcakes. Store these in the fridge if you're not serving them the same day. Allow the cupcakes to come to room temperature, about 2-3 to three hours at room temperature for the frosting to soften up before serving. And there it is! Coffee cupcakes with mocha buttercream and salted caramel. Ang salap. Mmm. Yum. That mocha buttercream is so silky smooth. And that salted caramel combo takes it to a whole new level. It's the ultimate coffee lover's cupcake. Mmm. -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make these mocha cupcakes. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook and Instagram, the links are below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. And for our written recipes, be sure to check out cookingwithkurt.com. Maraming salamat!